fishing show host Matt Watson and his crew are headed out to Wanganella Banks, a prime spot for marlin fishing. They're everywhere here. We're going to do our best. Fingers crossed. Piercing through the water at speeds of nearly 60 miles an hour, marlin are one of the ocean's apex predators. For sport fishermen, they're the ultimate prize. As the day draws to a close, all of the fishermen have caught and released their catches, except one. We're still going, number 21 for the day. Okay. The brutal struggle lasts into the night. We've got extremely low on this bull here, so we've got a lot of line to get back. Suddenly, the men notice a strange vibration on the line. Something is attacking the marlin. Something very big. Matt's seen a lot of astonishing catches, but what happens next blows even him away. There's only one predator that can do this much damage to a huge marlin. This marlin who's been attacked by a squid. And you can see these round marks here, which are possibly the uh, sucker marks from the squid as he's had a hold of the marlin. And um, a squid feeds with a big beak and it takes out these beak like bites. Now, just looking at these bites, there's some squid that's eaten this fish. I've seen plenty of fish that have been eaten by a squid before, but I've never seen bites this big from a squid. We don't know for sure, but uh, this fish looks as though it's been attacked by Archituthus or a giant squid. It's a terrifying testament to a kraken's ravenous appetite and a shocking revelation. This marlin, devoured clean to the bone, was hooked at a depth close to 100 feet. The monstrous kraken's normal hunting ground is almost a 1,000 feet deeper. A chilling sign these beasts are coming closer and closer to us.